Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. So friends, in this video, I am going to discuss the puzzle question which were asked in the Infosys exam today. Okay, so friends, I have taken the screenshot, but uh, you know, uh, you can see the email ID and the ID will be written. So that is the reason in my previous video, I had not kept any kind of a screenshot. And then the student started commenting, sir, these questions are not from the Infosys. So guys, please do understand for me, students are more important than anything. Okay, so that is the reason I'm not directly taking the screenshots of the with the student email ID that is not in the favor of a student. Okay, so please let me do our work. Okay, so we are trying to help you trying to support you in all the possible ways. So this is a genuine channel and with the genuine information we are putting all these things. Okay, now question number one. So we have P and then we have to find out this value here. Y 20, 24, 22 F K N. Now, so friends, if you'll see the difference between P and F, the difference in terms of position. So F is here and p is 16 so 16 minus 6 will be what so 16 minus 6 will be 10 and if you multiply by 2 then you will be easily able to write 20 here okay so that's how 20 is written here then you see y so what is the position of y so the position of y is 25 and the position of n is 14 so 25 minus 14 so the difference of the position will be 11 and if you multiply by 2 it will become 22 and that's how 22 is written here and then here it is 24 that means the difference would be 12 so what is k so k is uh, the position of k is nothing but 11 okay so what we will subtract so that we will be getting 12 so that means x will be nothing but 11 plus 12 23 so 23 now so 23 is what so you can see 23 is nothing but w so here it should be w and then w minus k the difference will be 12 and if you multiply by 2 you will be able to get 24 so friends uh, see the puzzle question was little tricky in the today's exam so there was no doubt but yes so again i will say here the practice only can help you in solving the question and this year so if we have solved two puzzles then also result will come okay because the puzzles was tricky so if you have solved two puzzles correctly according to me see I'm again telling it's not 100% confirmed, okay? But if we, so if we have solved two questions at least, then you can expect a result, okay? This is according to me what I think, but this might not be 100% true. Okay, now question number two. Uh, question number two. So friends, I had also made a video on TCS, uh, removed, um, you know, the, uh, you know, time-wise. So the time-wise uh, questions. I mean, the for the question, the time limit was there. So I had told that 5th of December and 12th of December in that exam, the time limit for each question was not there. Okay. Now, but I also said that in the same video that I'm not sure the exam, which will happen in the future, the time slot will be there or not. So whatever the, we are, uh, the trend we are seeing, according to that, it should not be, but I don't know if it will be there or not. Okay. And in that particular video, if you'll see at 1.58 minute, I have clearly told that, uh, you know, uh, this is the time limit might have might be getting removed. I don't know. But the students are again commenting that, sir, please try to give the genuine information. What kind of information you are expecting from us? See, we are just giving you a information that this was not there. See, I am not from the TCS, right? See, I cannot give you the 100% information. Please watch the video correctly. Many of the students are seeing the thumbnail and then started commenting. See, this is not fair, friends. We put a lot of effort. And in that case, if uh, the, this kind of supports are there from you, we will stop doing these videos, okay? So we will only do whatever is required. Anyway, for one or two person, we don't care. We will just remove it from the YouTube channel. So that is, uh, no, but the community, so definitely I'm working for the community and we will be keep doing it. Okay, now here you see, so four and the six difference is two, difference is two, difference is two. Five and three difference, three difference, and then three difference. Then here four difference. So here also the difference would be four. And here also the difference would be four. Here five, here five, here five. So it should follow a particular pattern. So for question number two, the answer will become option C. Then the third question, the third question is again little tricky. So friends, here you can see. So this is a square, eight a square, five a square, and definitely ten a square. Here, if you'll see, seven cube will be three forty three, and then four cube will be uh, uh, sixty four. 
and here if you will see uh, this will be nothing but 6 to the power 4 this will be 3 to the power 4 and this if you will see it will be 8 to the power 4 okay now so here 7 cube here 4 cube so here cube is there now we can see there is only one uh, 729 which is nothing but 9 cube so here we will be see there might be more than one or two logic okay but i am giving you the simplest logic so the first one is nothing but first one we have square filled then we have the fourth power filled and then the middle one is nothing but third power filled because you cannot get a square root of 343 right you cannot get a square root uh, a square root of 343 so this will be cube okay this is a square and this will be nothing but your uh, fourth power so cube means here we will be only going for 729 all other cube is not possible this is 18 square this is 15 square okay next next is so friends i have tried to uh, hide this email id even though i have removed the background anyway let's see so now here we have 48 so they what they have done 24 into 4 divided by 2 so 24 into 2 will be 48 then here 17 so 17 into 10 by 2 so 17 into 5 will be 85 okay now and here it will be 81 so definitely what number i should multiply so that i will be getting 243 so let us take uh, from the option so 6 by 2 so 81 into 3 will be 243 okay so friends different sets of the questions will be there so there will be say there will be 10 sets will be there so whatever questions i am solving it might not have come to one student particular slot but this question has been asked in the infosys and you can also see this is uh, the screenshots are available okay now friends what has been done here so this is nothing but 4q and this is nothing but 5q and then what they have done 4 plus 5 they have written as 9 so this is nothing but 6q so here i need 8q then only 6 plus 8 i will be able to write as 14 so 8 cube will be nothing but 512 and you can see option c will be the correct answer see friends i am solving the question very fast you might have seen like okay we are doing it very fast but definitely before uh, you know behind that there is a lot of practice is required so if you'll do the practice then only you'll be able to do then here the difference is 10 okay uh, i'm sorry so here the difference is uh 2 minus 1 is 1 and 3 minus 2 is 1 so here the difference is 11 5 minus 2 is 3 and the difference is 13 and here the difference is 5. That means there is a particular difference of 2. Then here, so 12 minus 6 is 6, 16. Then here, 10 minus 2 is 8, 18. And then here, 20. That means again, the difference between them is constant, that is 2. So here also, the difference between them should be constant 2. So here, 4, 6 minus 3 is 34. So here, the difference should be 32 and here the difference would be 30. So 168 plus 30 will be definitely 198. Uh, I'm sorry, the I forgot to write the option here. So here option was like 189 and here option was 198. And like this, there was option where there. So this, you can see the previous options only. I forgot to change it, okay? Anyway, the logic, uh, we have to use it here. So this is 30, so 30 will be 198 and this will become automatically 32. So 10 minus eight is two and uh, 22 minus 19 will be three. And again, if you'll see the difference between them will become constant. So the missing number here will become 198. So friends, I have solved here uh, six puzzle and definitely. So if your support is there, if I'm seeing more subscribers are increasing, if uh, you know the more number of likes and the more number of shares are coming, more number of comments are coming, then I'll be doing uh, other puzzles also okay because again you can see like how much time it takes to take the screenshot remove the background and on top of that i will be seeing the comments and definitely the comments demotivate us because we really work hard for you guys and ultimately what we get is that comments uh, from you guys okay thank you friends uh, and all the best for your examination we will meet uh, again in the next video take care